Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Sagittarius's who are watching. So if you have Sagittarius as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Sagittarius, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, Sagittarius, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign. So it may or may not resonate for you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. But without further ado, we will officially begin and get started with your reading and your energy, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and see what we have making its way towards my Sagittarius, please, when it comes to love and their energy. Let's see who's this person. We have our very first message to come out. Who is this person making their way towards Sagittarius and how does this person truly feel, please? What's on their mind when it comes to Sagittarius? So far we have five messages. Actually, we already had um, five, so... Seven messages, Sagittarius. Sorry about that. I got confused. We pulled an extra to begin with, but that is okay. We have, you're the first person I felt this way about. I can't help but overthink. You're the first person I felt this way about. I can't help but overthink. Let's get into, I was afraid to fall in love with you due to the parts of myself I hide. I promise you won't have to question my efforts this time. We also have just be natural with me. I'm thinking about you, but stalling, making the first move. You're all I need or you are all I need. You're a lover who makes me feel free and secure. I couldn't ask for more. And I will always wish you the best. You've been great to me. All right, Sagittarius. So seems like this is someone that you are distant from or you may not know or feel so confident and secure about the end all be all goal or final destination between you and this person and of course we can't control the future we can only be in the present moment but i feel like this person perhaps had had trouble being in the present moment with you as well. I feel like they were overthinking, overwhelming themselves with this connection, or they could have even, excuse me, they could have even got cold feet, Sagittarius, but I feel like they did register and process and feel for the person that you were to them or you've been to them. It's like nothing but good thoughts and good energy came from your side, Sagittarius. And that's why communication is important here because sometimes, as people, we feel like we need to isolate and be alone and process our feelings and emotions. We, we all have our different styles of dealing with things, but it can get misconstrued when you're dealing with someone, you're dating someone, and you isolate without letting them in on it or expressing how you feel. And of course, you don't need permission to do anything, Sagittarius, but... I feel like things got lost in translation in a sense where perhaps this person pulled away because they were feeling all these things about this connection, about you, or maybe it had nothing to do with these Sagittarius. There were things going on behind the scene, the scenes, but I feel like it was never to do with you personally. It wasn't anything against you Sagittarius. So due to that energy, there may be tension between you and this person, but Regardless whether this is 
over with this is something of the past i feel like this person does feel very highly for you or they think very highly of you so with all that being said sagittarius i feel like you and this person are now in separation here so let's go ahead and get started with how this person felt about you or how you felt about this person remember energies roles can be reversed and please only take what resonates for you but we have you are all I need. You're a lover who makes me feel free and secure. I couldn't ask for more. I feel like you were very you were very accepting towards this person, Sagittarius. I feel like you provided not only words of encouragement or advice, but also just someone to listen to this person's voice. And sometimes that's all we need, like someone to just be there and we know that they're listening to us. And I feel like that's what you provided to this person. And someone that you shared um, lighthearted moments with, but perhaps there were moments of depth where you two talked about things that weren't superficial, that were beneath the surface level. So you are all I need. You're a lover who makes me feel free and secure. I couldn't ask for more. This also reminds me of just having a strong friendship as well with this person, but romantic feelings were also within that also. So we have that message. We also have, you're the first person I felt this way about. I can't help but overthink. I feel like this is this person's energy, Sagittarius. Maybe they were focusing, like I said, beyond the present moment, but are things going to come together seamlessly, perfectly? Are things going to all align in time? And once again, perhaps there were some things going on or taking place behind the scenes within their own life, but... I feel like they were thinking so many things at once when it came to this connection. But then we also have, well, let's actually get into, I was afraid to fall in love with you due to the parts of myself I hide. As people, we are complex individuals and it takes a lot to become vulnerable with somebody, even the people that we do feel closest to. So maybe this person, as, as well as overthinking, just sharing themselves with you, Sagittarius, revealing layer by layer who they truly are. And sometimes while we're trying to do that with someone, we also have to confront those parts of ourselves, ourselves actually. So maybe that scared this person away, just the fear of vulnerability. But I was afraid to fall in love with you due to the parts of myself I hide. Then we have, I will always wish you the best. You've been great to me. This person's energy, Sagittarius. It had nothing to do with you. Then just be natural with me. I feel like you provided that open and loving, accepting space for this person to come forward and just be who they truly are. You're, you're getting to know them because you, you find them interesting. You find them attractive inside and out. Whatever your personal reasons are, it's like... I'm already in your life because I see this in you. I see this moving forward with you. So just be straight up, be truthful. Honesty and communication, they're key here. So let's just start from the truth, from the truth and work our way up. Then we have, I'm thinking about you, but slowly making the first move. I feel like this is this person's energy, Sagittarius, gaining the courage to come forward here. But... If there is tension or you feel that way, Sagittarius, I feel like they're already thinking about whether you would accept them back into their into your life or not, or just breaking the ice with you. How will that go? But once again, why overthink it when you could just do it, see how it goes. And I promise you won't have to question my efforts this time. I feel like this is this person's energy, Sagittarius, gaining that courage to come forward. Because I, I feel like it's that realization. I already know how it feels to just run away from this. But I don't know how it feels to just stick it out. Confront my fears and be with Sagittarius. Because that's what I truly want. Last but not least, let's go ahead and receive our last couple messages, please. For my Sagittariuses. What else do we need to know here? One more message. All right, so we'll start with this first message to come out. We have, we're getting to know one another. Why are they involved? I've missed you so much. 
When I don't hear from you, all my faith in this goes to waste. And last but not least, you're on my mind. It's not fair to reach out to you because I'm not sure what I want. So yeah, Sagittarius, I, I do feel like if there isn't or hasn't been any communication, it has been for quite a while. Um, I, I feel like during the separation, there hasn't been any communication like this person resurfacing or just starting small conversation here. So we do have, we're getting to know one another. Why are they involved? For some of my Sagittarius, maybe there's concern about a third party. Does not have to be the case, but this card did come out. And with this message, I'm thinking about something isolated versus something seen by many. Maybe that type of description will resonate does not have to be the case but it's like we're getting to know one another why are they involved in the sense that they're a third party or maybe someone being brought into something personal that you and this person share so we have this message only take it if it resonates when i don't hear from you all my faith in this goes to waste i feel like this is your energy sagittarius it's like the least you may have expected from this person is to keep you in the loop some way, somehow. It, the respect out of it. Even if you're not ready for anything more or you feel differently, can you at least tell me? Because I thought what we had growing together was good. I've missed you so much. This could be a shared energy. Last but not least, you're on my mind. It's not fair to reach out to you because I'm not sure what I want. I feel like if this person has not reached out to you, Sagittarius, it's because they don't want to do that back and forth with you. If they come back, they want to be sure that they're not about to do the same thing that they did the first time around. All right, Sagittarius, we'll just see what signs may be relevant for you. First, we do have Pisces for my Sagittariuses. Pisces, Aquarius. Last but not least, we have Virgo. All right, Sagittarius. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.